I think we're put on this earth for a, a reason to uh, help other people. I've gone into nanomedical applications because the direct impact on the, the welfare of human beings is, is profound. We're going to use nanoscience where, where we can't chemically kill cancer to remove it much more easily from the human body via miniaturized surgical instruments. Currently on the end of endoscopes there's one instrument, okay, because they're on the order of about 2.75 millimeters in dimensions. We're making surgical instruments at less than a millimeter, which means we can put multiple instruments. So it's kind of like a, the concept is sort of like a Swiss Army knife. Why can we make them small? Because of the nanoparticles. Smaller building blocks to make smaller instruments. Nanoscale drug delivery systems look very promising. We didn't take a nano platform, say like nanotubes or quantum dots, and try to find a health application for them. We invented a whole new system for a health application that was specifically designed for drug delivery. This calcium phosphate delivery system, we could target both pancreatic cancer and breast cancer with antibodies or with a, a, a protein on the surface of the particles for pancreatic cancer in a very specific way. Penn State has become a, a very collaborative place over the last two decades. The diversity of scientific thought helps in the problem-solving process. And it's not like any, any one individual is married to any given pathway uh, because everyone shares in sort of the glow of adventure. My name is Jim Adair. I'm a professor in material science and engineering here at Penn State, and I study nanoparticulates.